This tutorial is about some of the miscellaneous features available to you on Google Slides. I'm going to cover how to make a copy of your slides to show presentation, um, the help feature that's available through Google Slides, how to email collaborators, how to see the revision history, and then how your Google Slides are organized in your drive. So the first thing that you can do is under File, you can go down to Make a Copy. Whenever you select Make a Copy, it's going to ask you to rename it. So I'm going to call it Sample 2 December. And then you can click to share it with the same people if you'd like, or if you, you want to keep it separate, that's fine too. And then press OK, and it's going to open your duplicate in um, a new window. Now any changes that I make on Sample 2 December, this copy, will not happen on this copy. So if you find um, a template that you really like or if you find that you want to reuse a slideshow for any reason, um, that's how you can do it. So your original stays and then your copy can be edited with no changes done to your original. Um, the next thing that's available to you is the help menu. So if you go under help and click slides help, um, it comes up a searchable um, collection of all different kinds of help. So let's say you wanted to work on animations, you could just type animations in the search bar and it's going to bring up um, articles that they have about adding animations and such and then some of the um, chat room type of um, things or forums basically that have already been um, done so that way you can look and see, oh that's the same question I have, you can click on it and see what, how people have answered it. Another cool tool is that you can email the collaborators of your presentation. So as you're working on it, let's say you wanted to send a message um, about your progress. If you go under File, there's one called Email Collaborators. Here you could change the subject, so progress. And today I added all four slides, blah, 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 whatever you wanted to say to them. And then click Send, and it will send right to any of the people that you have collaborating with you on the slideshow. Another cool thing that um, is available in Google Slides and actually all of your Google tools is to see the revisit revisions history. So if you click here um, where it says all changes saved, if you click on that it will bring up a timeline of all of the revisions that have been made and each time that you click it will show specifically what was done. So all the highlighted green things were changed on the 24th. Um, at 837 then 743 is basically whenever it was created so um, this is really helpful whenever you have students collaborating on a document because you can go back and look and see um, who did what um, and you know especially with group presentations and stuff you can see how much each person contributed um, so all of your Google slides are organi organized in your drive just like the rest of your Google tools um, documents. So I have pulled up my drive, just drive.google.com, and whenever I scroll down through any of them with this yellow box-like icon, that's um, the Google Slides icon. So all of the ones that come up that way are Google Slides shows that I've created um, along the way. So you can actually click on one and you can drag it into a folder if you want to move it to kind of keep your drive organized. Um, also, if you go over to the shared with me, then any um, presentations that students or anyone else have shared with you will be listed here. So you can see all the yellow icon, icon yellow icons along the way are all Google Slides presentations. Um, of course, this is the, your Word, your uh, Docs documents, and you have your um, spreadsheets and everything else all here together.